Happy sunrise, everybody. Um, hope you and your family are having a blessed day. So I'm on here because I wanted to try to talk to you all a little bit. Um, see how you all are feeling during this time. I appreciate all of the support that you all have been giving me and my family. I appreciate your support so much. But I wanted to ask you all something. Um, I don't know if you all been having the same symptoms like maybe feeling lightheaded, dizzy, feel like the room is spinning at times. Anyone else feel like that? You know, um, you know, you just have those light, light spells like, you you know, just this dizzy, nauseated feeling. Okay. Y'all remember I did a reading. I think it was uh, possibly could have been yesterday or the day before. But I was telling you all that um, I seen a war like it looked to me. It looked like some type of war. But it wasn't a war like a physical battle. It was a war like with the technology. And it, it was like the energies combating. Okay? Like energy combat. Okay? That's how I seen the war. So it was more like a spiritual war. With the, um, I said maybe like, um, what did I say? To me, it was almost as if something with the power grid or some type of, um, charge or some type of surge that I was envisioning with the power grid, right? And I was saying, okay, um, I knew that it was going to take place. I just didn't know when it was going to take place as far as this, this surge, this magnetic, um, voltitude. I don't know why I want to say like this magnetic, um, abruption or whatever this is, right? <clears throat> so yesterday as I was trying to post to you all, I told you that I, I uploaded a video and there was no sound. Like you were not able to hear the sound. And I instantly felt, I said, stop messing with my, you know, tapping into my energy. Stop messing with my technology, my equipment, right? So that was confirmation through spirit. There is something much far greater going on. Um, and I'm going to tell you. With the cards that kept coming out for us, you all, collective, the transmutation, the radical rebirth, and all of that, that is talking about the ascension, okay? And what it is, is that um, your spirit is saying our consciousness, our consciousness is um, extending or expanding or um, ascending, okay? And that possibly is what's causing all of our symptoms, I don't know, even in your children, you may have children who they don't necessarily know what's going on at the moment. I'm going to tell you, we all don't, okay? But the children, especially them going through this ascension, they're like more, you know, that I, my, especially the older two, they don't do nothing but fight and argue with each other, you know. But it's almost as if it is it's, it's the energy, the vibrations, the frequencies is causing this this major shift, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something. They say what's done in the dark comes to the light. That is because Spirit is saying. If you if you have anything that you have inside you, Spirit is saying, it will be known, like your, through you, you, you know? Like, so anything that you are trying to hide or you're trying to conceal, Spirit is saying, it will be brought up to the front. It is, it is being brought out of you, you understand? So people will begin to recognize to see how you are, who you really are, and what you are really about. You know, because during this time of ascension, spirit is saying for those of righteousness, um, you will be enlightened. People will see this this Christ like um, energy or aura or frequency or vibration that is let off from you. And then, you know, of course, you have people who just, you know, real arrogant, don't don't care for anyone in this world, have done a lot of things. They're sneaky handed, sneaky footed. And spirit is also saying that those type of energies will also become more prevailing and more obvious. And, you know, so during this time, I don't know. I just feel like we need to be really try to rest. You know, um, it's very hard to do that sometimes, you know, but spirit is saying, and I'm going to tell you all something else. Nature. Nature. Um. I really feel like that we need to get back into nature. I'm saying that because I personally feel like. From what I'm used to in the children, our family, moving around, traveling, just being free, no responsibilities. You can't save or anything when you are in a place, you know. So when, when you are free out there, you're able to save more. The children are living their best life. Like, people don't understand that. You can teach your child so much out there, you know, in nature and being free, then allowing them to be enslaved. And I just feel like that is what caused sickness upon us. Because they have all of these towers, 5G towers and everything that they have set up right. 
And then you have these electrical wires that are running through your homes or running through your apartment complexes or whatever in the city. So just imagine the radiation and the, the, the power surge or the or the, the, the magnetic charges that are going, you know, around constantly just that vibration is constantly that show yo you are absorbing all of that energy, you know. So I do say that um I feel like we have been led, I'm being led to get back into the unknown, you know, with the children where they are more happier, where they are socializing, meeting people, traveling, experiencing the world and the light and the love and the beauty of living and not allowing them to be confined and held hostage or feel like, <coughs> you know, this is the right way to train a child. I just don't feel like this is the right way to train a child. You understand? Being brought up locked inside this home, this cage, like I just don't feel like that is the right way to raise a child. I feel like a child should be limitless. I feel like a child should not be limited. I feel like children should be out there in nature experiencing things that they only can imagine, like camping. How many of us, when you were younger, you always wanted to camp outside? And then you find yourself now, you're getting older, and you say, well, I've never done that. See, it's the things that we, we, um, we don't allow in our lives, you know. So anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to give it a little bit of the time. Um, I hope you all heard this message. Let me know what you think as far as the ascension symptoms, the transmutation, the radical rebirth symptoms that we are all going through. I hope y'all stay safe. Thank you for your support. And I love y'all. Bye.